So this is a demonstration of using Mathematica image processing to point a laser pointer connected to a robotic turret and have the laser pointer track this object as it moves along this white background. So you can see right now I have it going and it's moving the laser pointer and so it's tracking it now. Of course, the most fun way to use this is to actually turn on the laser. So I'm gonna turn it on. Ooh. And now the laser is on. And now you see we have a laser dot. Now we're going to put this plus, and you can see it's pretty good tracking. It does pick up some shadows and some weird things, and it does go a little haywire, but for the most part, this is pretty good tracking. Uh, and this is, this is like the uncalibrated first version, so it's a little off, that's why. So what's actually happening is it is the camera feed is being fed into my computer. Computer is using Mathematica and a package that I've been developing for Mathematica called Arduino Link, which sends the coordinates to the Arduino microcontroller, which then positions the servo motors so it, they are pointing at the target. So this is a kind of cooperation between Mathematica, the camera. And the Arduino. So, the way this is actually working, I'm going to turn off the Arduino, it's through a package in Mathematica called Arduino, as I just talked about it, called Arduino Link. And what it actually allows you to do is to symbolically manipulate Arduino microcontrollers. So, here I can load the package, I defined a symbolic Arduino controller. And now, if I go down to my examples, so the nifty ones. Uh, here, so let, let's say, so I can, so here I can do something simple like, so I, here I've defined the Arduino as a serial device. I've just said, wait for a serial message, then write to, write to the motor, then wait for another one and write to the other motor. So basically just keep, you send, you send the first message, you send the second one and then that's it. So, <clears throat> so here we can do a manipulate example, we can manipulate the X and Y. Now, now here I can use a slider to just change my X. So here I'm changing my X position. Let me turn the laser back on. So here, change my X position. And here, I can change my Y position. So you see, changing Y, changing X. It's pretty simple. It's pretty cool. You can just use a slider to do everything. It makes things, makes technology seem pretty in sync yeah. uh, so but you know that's, yeah, that's cool that works but the coolest stuff is really the laser pointing or the object tracking at the, the whatever you put in front of there so here it's actually just three lines of Mathematica code it's using built-in Mathematica functions the reason that the way this is actually possible is because Mathematica is such a high-level programming language that I can pretty much just do all these really complicated things using built-in functions in Mathematica. I can use the image processing stuff, the image processing function called component measurements to pick the uh, points for components that are, uh, or basically pick the major points, the major centroids in my image. So I just pass it, pass the image in. The image is just a uh, binarization of the image from the webcam. And that's me. And it's just taking the centroid, and then it's going to set the motor if it does see an image, and then it's just going to show me what the image was that it just saw. And it's going to do this every every three times a second. So I set the update interval like that. Uh, the reason I did that is because image processing does not is pretty it can get pretty slow if the image gets pretty complicated. Then it gets slow enough that it could pretty much crash the Mathematica kernel. So that's why. I, you gotta put a reasonable update interval and you can see it's pretty reasonable. So if I run this, I can see what it looks like on the screen. It's showing me what the image is and now it's pointing the laser pointer at it. And so now this is all this is about and this is all happening with about nine lines of Mathematica code. Like six lines to program the Arduino, three lines to do the image processing and sending the coordinates to the Arduino. 
And yeah, and there's that one line for the servo function. So like ten lines of code. Uh, I, I challenge anyone to do the same thing in C with ten lines. You won't get pretty. You won't get very far. So, anyways, after extolling the virtues of Mathematica, I'm going to end this video. And yeah, so this is and. If you read the post on my blog, you can see exactly how I did this and exactly how to make your own. And this, the package Arduino link should hopefully be available to the general Mathematica public pretty soon. But for now, all right. Alright, thanks for watching.